What's your take on using bovine organ concentrate? So a bovine organ, organ concentrate is an organ tissue. So organ tissue became very common use a nutraceutical back in the 1960s, really, maybe even before that, some companies came out with it. I know Biotics Research and Standard Process were the two companies that really started using organ concentrates. Um, they can be extremely beneficial. So one of the belief systems with organ concentrates is that when an organ is, let's say, hurting. So let's say your uh, thymus gland needs help to keep up. So one of your things that your thymus gland does is it helps stimulate immune function. So your thymus gland may need help in keeping up with the immune response, let's say. Your thymus gland actually secretes messenger RNA. Well, a lot to be heard about messenger RNA this last year with these vaccinations. Well, messenger RNA is made by your body. So we're not talking about a messenger RNA drug that's called a vaccine that's injected in you to do bad things to your cells. Your, your healthy cells release messenger RNA to take something that will be helpful for that cell. So messenger RNA travels to your parotid gland. It's released in your saliva. And when you are exposed to any nutrient that's going to help that organ, that messenger RNA tags that nutrient from the saliva as it travels down to your stomach, tags it as you absorb it, and it will help bring it to that organ to help that organ heal. The other benefit of glandulars is that if a person has an autoimmune attack on a certain gland, let's say they have an autoimmune attack on the thyroid, by you taking thyroid glandulars, you're actually, the autoimmune attack is happening partly on that organ glandular that you're consuming and not on the thyroid itself. So it can help uh, calm down in an autoimmune attack. But we're not treating autoimmune disease here. We're treating cancer. So can organ glandulars be beneficial for a cancer? So let's say if a person has ovarian cancer, can taking this product like Cytozyme F be beneficial where it has uh, of ovary tissue in it. Um, there's, I did write a blog post about this several years ago using organ glandulars for cancer. There's um, a lot of, uh, there's several studies that are out there and there's a lot of theory that's out there that it can be beneficial by using the glandular of the tissue that you have the cancer with that it can help the body respond better and help that tissue heal better. So um, has it been proven out with our testing? Not always. We do use these products. I like Biotics Research glandulars, uh, especially because they're all, um, all their glandulars also have uh, superoxide dismutase and catalase with it, which are really strong antioxidants. They help protect the glandular. Uh, for many years beyond the expiration date, but they also help protect the glandular substance when it's brought into the body. And if it is brought to the tissue site, especially for cancer uh, cells, let's say if I have cancer of my ovaries and I'm taking ovarian tissue here, the cytosine F, um, then it's going to be brought there with the SOD and catalase. So you have that antioxidant uh, benefit that you're, that you're carrying directly to the cancer itself. So I'm a big fan of using uh, uh, glandulars. Now, the argument that people say is, well, this is bovine tissue and I'm supposed to be off of meat. Um, don't, you don't need to worry about this. This is organ tissue and this is not uh, muscle tissue of the, of the cow. So bovine means cow. This is also taken from organically grown cows, um, no, they're still exposed to chemicals no matter what you do, but they're as clean as you can get. Um, so uh, Biotics Research has a very strong uh, reputation with their glandulars, and they're a company that I trust a lot. They've been doing this for many, many years. So bovine organic glandulars are great. The problem is, is they don't have them for everything. Standard or, um, Biotics has the greatest um, array of them in, in their... Um, in their stock, um, but they don't have them for every single tissue. 
uh, but they have oh, maybe about 15 different tissue granulars. So they can be very beneficial. Uh, typically from a functional medicine standpoint, glandulars are used to help stimulate that organ. Using thyroid glandulars can be very helpful with a person with hypothyroidism. Using adrenal glandulars can be very helpful for somebody who has, you know, dealing with stress issues, dealing with low thyroid issues. This product is thigh. This doesn't stand for thyroid. This stands for thymus. So this would be an immune stimulator, the cytozyme thigh. Um, and the F stands for female here. And that has ovary, has pituitary, has hypothalamus, uh, ovary, and I think uterine tissue in there. Um, but that's a great balance formula for women. So glandulars can be great tissues, uh, things to add to their product line.